So I'm a technology facilitator at my school and I get the best of both worlds because I get to teach students and I get to coach teachers um, on technology integration. And I said, let's do, what about a scratch project that has to do with adventure? Um, your sprite has to go on an adventure or experience an adventure of some kind. And I didn't do the pre-teaching. Again, I was going back to that code.org philosophy of like, let's just see, you know? And of course I took them on a little tour. And speaking of that tour, um, the great thing about it was that your project that I did for LCL, um, that was the, the second week I was teaching Scratch. So I, you know, got to class and I said, oh, i got to show you guys my Scratch project. And they were like, what? Ms. Zimmer does Scratch? Oh, my gosh. You know, and I was like, yeah. And um, so I had put myself in it. You know, I had some multiple backgrounds. There was dialogue. I'd use my voice. So that project helped me teach as well because I kind of tried to hit on every little thing that I might have wanted the students to do in their project and it forced me to actually develop something for my class uh, which you know previously I had done the animation but never had taken it you know very far so they saw that that kind of got them roped in and started having them think but let me tell you the difference between the adult mind and the mind of a fourth grader um, when it comes to like what I envisioned them doing like oh they travel to a place you've never been or and, you know, fourth graders are who they are, and they like to show their sense of humor and their pers quirky personalities and use obnoxious music and sound effects and everything they could possibly come up with to be goofy. And so I started seeing that happen, and instead of wrangling them in and saying, no, but you have to do this, I just kind of I just let go. And so we've been at it for about three weeks now. You know, they get so nervous that I'm just going to, like, pull the plug on this thing and, like, not let them continue. And at the minute on Thursday, I said, you know, their homeroom teacher was in there, and I said, all right, guys, you can stop typing. We're going to do Scratch. It was a resounding applause. I mean, I, it was, like, the best feeling ever. And the homeroom teacher kind of looked at me, and she was like, wow, this is crazy. They love this. My advice for teachers is, I will admit, I, I am not a scratch master. I tell my students at the very first day, you know, you're going to ask me questions and I will help, I'll, I'll help you and I'll facilitate for you, but I don't have all the answers. Um, I don't sit at home on scratch. I don't have time to do that. And so you're the experts. Kids love to help. So if you can empower students in that way by letting them teach and show their work in the classroom. So I think with teachers, it's there's a fear factor of, well, I'm not a coder. I don't, I don't know how to code. And how am I going to teach this to my students? There does not need to be any direct instruction really in Scratch. As a matter of fact, you can search for a Scratch intro project on Scratch and have your kids watch it, which I put on my blog for them. I said, you know, if you run into a, hit a wall with this, you know, watch the, watch the tutorials that people have put together and look inside the projects. Remix projects. It, there's no teaching involved in that. The students teach themselves. So that's what I've always loved about Scratch. I've taught it in both summer school, and I say teach it, but I don't teach it. I, I facilitate. Um, I, I watch, I learn from the students, um, I learn so much about their personalities and, um, you know, their strengths and um, it's, it's so interesting.